and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The City's Senior Center is now part of the Midlands Community Foundation's Match Program. You'll find out what that means to you and to our Senior Center. And a local 6th grade teacher talks about her students benefiting from the D.A.R.E. program and gives her thoughts about the D.A.R.E. officer. There's still time to get your holiday fruitcake from the Midlands Hospital Fundraising Bake Sale. We'll tell you how. These stories are next in City Happenings for the week of December 15th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The City's Senior Center benefits directly from the Midlands Community Foundation's Match Program. It's great. Actually, within the last year, the Papillion Senior Center became a designated fund of Midlands Community Foundation. So in a nutshell, what that basically says is that we get to do all the fun stuff like fundraise and write grants and go about our programs as a qualified nonprofit 501c3. But Midlands Community Foundation gets to do the other stuff. That the other not fun stuff by managing the fund for us and doing all the legal things like the filing of our taxes. So um, it's a great opportunity to be involved with them because they're an excellent community partnership. Um, so we're very thankful for that. The biggest thing is is the new um, program that they've come out with. with a, it's a charitable matching funds um, and it runs through January 5th. And if individuals, corporations, businesses would like to make a donation to the um, Pillion Senior Center, they would do so to the Midlands Community Foundation as, as being a designated fund and what they will do is match every dollar that's given to us up to $5,000. So it's a basically a, a dollar to dollar match program. It just provides us with the funding to do all the programs that we are doing and which in the last four or five months we've really increased our attendance and our programs so that will help fund that. Um, Basically, just like things like on a Tuesday, we have a great singing group that goes out to the community. Um, it can fund the things that they need, like music and props and um, getting on the bus and going. And then like on Wednesdays, we take uh, Wandering Wednesdays and we travel to different places every afternoon. And that means covering the, cap, the cost of gas for us. Other things are um, arts and crafts. We do a lot of different arts and crafts. And what that will help us do is um, cover the cost of the supplies. We charge usually um, our attendees maybe a small minimal fee to do that, but then usually the cost of it's greater than that, so it will help us to do things like that. DARE continues to be a strong program in local schools. One local teacher says it's not only important, but needed. Extremely. Um, as a parent in the, a child that will be in DARE this year, and as an educator, I think it's just important that kids learn the truth about drugs and alcohol and peer pressure and things like that. And then, like I said, having that community um, involvement as well. So that they know that there are, some, there, are, there are people in our community that you can trust. Dare Officer Tony Foster teaches the classes and is great at what he does. I absolutely adore him. The kids ad adore him. The kids trust him. And I think that's what he wants to build. He wants to build that trust between the students and himself. So, like I said earlier, that they can go to him if they have an issue or if they have a problem later in, in life that they need to deal with, that they know that he's another trusted individual. And I think it's important for every community to be able to trust your police officers and trust your teachers and trust anyone that is an adult figure in their life. So he just has a way with children that they just follow whatever he says. And he, te and he the things he teaches, I think they carry along for years and years and years. Smith says this cooperative effort benefits everyone. I think it's extremely important that we all work together because this is our community, these are our children, and we are a team. And we have to work together to make a strong, positive community. The Midlands Hospital Holiday Fruitcake Bake and Sale is going strong. One volunteer tells why this fruitcake smashes the fruitcake stereotype. We don't have any citron in it, for one thing. And it's almost like a candy bar. And we have the pecans and, the, and, and lots of pecans. And we have the, the dates and the cherries and the pineapple. And, and just enough cake to hold it all together. Baking the fruitcakes began more than 30 years ago in volunteers' homes. Midlands Hospital opened its kitchen for this endeavor, and it makes a major difference. Uh, now we have groups of people. We have people come in and, and, and uh, butter the pans in the same place they go in when they come in in the morning. And somebody else comes, another group comes in and weighs the fruit. 
and, and mixes the flour and get the other dry ingredients that go in it, and they, and they sack those. And, uh, and then somebody weighs the nuts and sack those. With, 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 Order your fruitcake by calling 402-593-3847 or pick them up at the hospital gift shop, Fairway or hy V on sale now through the week before Christmas. Please come downtown and enjoy the holiday lights. This is a great time of year and we try to keep Papillion festive with a great lighting display. Keep up with what's going on in Papillion. You have several ways that you can do it. Find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.